everybody, welcome to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. Uh, finally converted over to 999. Apologize for not posting over the last night or so. Um, work has just been taking its toll and just been exhausted. So uh, I finally got 999 installed and I was able to, if we go to the mech base real quick, I took all my mechs out and I did have to bring them back in and reload them. So I'm just going to, I think for today's episode, I'm just going to kind of step through what I've done. You can notice we're down to 326,000. Uh, we started with like almost 6 million in C-bills. Um, and just to get these four 75 ton mechs back up and running, it's cost like almost close to 6 million. Actually over 6 million. I had to go in and sell a bunch of, uh, um, you know, 25 ton like lighter mech parts. Um, any pirate mechs, like any inner sphere stuff, I basically sold uh, components for. Uh, like out of storage so uh, and I sold some of the components just to be able to get enough C-bills to be able to get this working so man I'm not looking forward to uh, Night Witches I, I don't know what the hell's going to happen with them that's going to be a heck of a lot of uh, work so I'm just going to kind of step through what I did here with the uh, with the Lance just so you can see what the loadouts are uh, so the new Timberwolf D uh, the C was the one that we had before we picked up the D I think it was the last mission we played maybe just one before but we refit this one and just show you what it looks like right now. Um, so I thought it would go. I thought it was interesting though the D that we saw had a couple of lar ER larges and uh, an Ultra 5 on it. So I thought I would try and load this out very similarly. Uh, we got weapon mounts in both arms to give us bonus accuracy Ds. So we got an Ultra 5 with a double uh, load of ammo. So this is like 17 turns of ammo. There's plenty of ammo for this thing. A um, pair of ER large lasers in the other arm. Uh, ER medium in the center torso and a medium pulse in the other arm, uh, some case and exchangers. So this guy is actually running pretty much heat neutral. Um, we put an improved fire control system in the head for bonus to hit and stuff. Enhanced imaging for accuracy and minus recoil for the auto cannon, and uh, sniper sensor uh, to increase uh, visual range and everything. And then we're running uh, plus five cooling, uh, clan. Um, heatsink engine obviously and then the Nova CEWS. Now the reason why I like this over the other uh, the, the um, uh, Warfare Suite or and yeah the, whatever it is the, the Clan Warfare Suite, sorry guys I'm just really really tired right now um, is that the ECM bubble is bigger, you get resolve gain increased sensor range for the Lance uh, uh, it also combines the C3 network uh, with an advanced ECM and sensor suite so it shares sensor information so it's kind of a little bit better yes we don't get the plus one defense but still though I think overall it's going to just provide us a little a, a few hidden perks that I think you don't really see so I'm going to go with that for a bit to see how that works out so that's basically this guy we got to use a lot of patchwork materials I noticed to get a lot of these builds up and running so a lot of the stuff came from the other mechs our, our medium lance um, so we're going to have to really be creative with those guys. So Timberwolf C, this one's still a really big laser build. So I tried to go back to how I had it before. I put weapon mounts in the arms, uh, two large improved heavy lasers for big punches in the arms, and four ER mediums. The heat is a little bit ridiculous in this. It's 187, 141. So we can just leave off two ER mediums if we have to. Uh, to cool off, that's not so, it's not so much of a problem. Running the Nova CEWS in here, heat bank exchanger. Now I did have cooling pods in this thing before, but the cooling pods they've changed. So I got a few obsolete things here too. I don't, I don't even know what these are. Nine and two, could be ECM suites or something. I don't know. I have no idea what these were. About to sell them still. Um, so if we go down here, yeah, so the cooling pods have changed. You notice here now it's got one use, right? Minus 20, t one, minus 20 heat per turn when activated. Um, and um, yeah, so I think it only works for one turn. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on these. That's why I didn't put them in yet. I don't want to get into battle and realize they don't have any heat sinking. So I'll experiment with these a little later. Um, my guess is that these are for flushing heat for a big alpha strike. Um, so they've, yeah, I, I much prefer the minus 5% cooling overall. Um, but I understand why they changed them. So I didn't use them right away. I most likely will probably use them maybe in this build. I don't know. But for each of these two that I put in, I'm losing 
you know, a, a heat sink, right? So, and depending on how long we're going to be in battle, I'd be better off just pulling out a couple of ER mediums and going with something a little bit more heat efficient or pulling out maybe four. I, was, I thought about going with um, uh, the ER pulse lasers. Uh, where are we here? Uh, yeah, medium ER pulses instead. Uh, the heat is lower. Um, I mean, we'd have sustained fire, but the damage is more splashy, right? I mean, I guess I would kind of be okay, given that we've got two big 90 pinpoint damage weapons here. But um, I like the pinpoint accuracy of the ER mediums, so I kind of went with those instead. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We may switch this around. Um, I'd be fine with that, too. So the night gear, we'll do the Orion last. The Orion's pretty simple. Night gear, try to get back to the same loadout we had before. So I put a weapon mount in this arm. And um, we've got the arrow system in here. Uh, enhanced the jig. Uh, three tons of arrow ammo just so we can sustain firepower. Nova CEWS, we've got the ER large back in this thing again. Um, and then a pair of LRM 20s with plenty of ammo. Um, We've got nine tons of LK ammo, or nine turns of LK ammo, plus a LRM double load. So we might, I might switch this around a little bit too. Um, there's a possibility of pulling out like a, like one of the 20s and maybe the double ammo and going with a couple of 15s or something. I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. But um, yeah, so that's this loadout here, and I think it's a pretty solid one. Um, and then if we go back to the Orion. This was the last mech I did because it was really, really costly. This one cost, I think it was close to one and a half million. I wasn't able to put an XL engine or anything in it because I didn't have the uh, the C-bills to do it. It's kind of sad, but that's how it was. So, Okay, so we got a, the, the rotary autocannon 5s are back uh, with uh, plenty of rack 5 ammo. This should be way more than enough, I think. Um, and three ER medium lasers. Got case to protect everything. The heat is marginal at best, 66, 71, so it's not too bad. Enhanced imaging to, re to uh, uh, reduce the recoil of this little bit of this um, on the arms and stuff. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, got the Nova CEWS in here as well, and TTS weapons for more accuracy. So we got plus three accuracy. Now, I did have a, an AC um, fire control system that gave me plus two, but I would rather go with the plus one uh like this would be plus three. It's less recoil reduction, but more accuracy. So I can hit harder, you know, I can fire more, hit harder, and then pause for a turn and switch back again. So, and all of the mechs too, uh, I've managed to get almost max armor on everything. So yeah, that's kind of how it went. I, I can't wait to be able to put another engine in this guy. So that's gonna be the goal there. So what we're gonna do real quick is just take a quick mission here. Um, Sorry if I sound so tired. I, I know I mentioned this already. I'm just completely exhausted. So we're going to do eviction against the local government, destroy a base here. And I think we're going to go... Let's just go down the middle for now. It's... I mean, our, we should be able to make the mon monthly report with this. So let's just accept this. So we're really going to have to work hard to get these, uh, these mechs working really well here. So let's get the Orion... Uh, C, um, D, and here we go. All right, so let's deploy this and get it done. All right, so let's check out some of these new things in the game here. Let's see if we can start some fires. I want to see what the explosions look like. Kind of excited for all this new stuff. Just came right at the worst time, though. So this is attack ground, so you can shoot. Okay, see now that's what I think I was saying before. You should just be able to attack, attack a specific target, like a specific uh, hex. All right, full speed. It just makes so much sense just to be able to attack. Like, if you kind of knew where they were, just take a pot shot at them. Yeah, see, this is I had to lower the engine in the Orion so you can see we're dog ass slow. Better go this way, because uh, otherwise we're never going to get to battle. I think probably what I do, if I can get a Clan XL engine in that guy, um, 
Well, maybe we don't have to, but if we can get a Klein XL engine in there, I'll increase his engine so he's got a bit more speed. And then sinking. Recoil reduction. We need to get some arm mounts and stuff. Um, yes, Commander. Let's not push too hard. Let's just move into here. It's a ghost. Ha ha ha! Ah, firing. Nothing but air. Lucky that one. Uh huh. Commander. Got nothing to do with luck, bud. Rolling. All right, what else do we got here? Heavy turret chassis, turret chassis. Let's just uh, see if we can end this turret real quick here. I. Uh, I think we're going to go with Warlord. we got a few turns before we get in on him. Just keep it clear and fire. Oh my god, you missed with one. Really? We wouldn't have killed it anyway. Stay on the road. Yeah, just fire three rounds. Keep it simple. Nice. Gotta make sure we get rid of those direct fire turrets. Yeah. Yeah. What do you need? Um. I'm gonna switch to normal ammo. Save the LK for the mechs firing. Oh, did you just see that? It's like a fucking nuclear bomb. I can't wait to see that up close. Yeah, they're not moving because they can't see us. That's just fine with me. No point in moving in. They can't see us. We don't need to go close. And, yeah. I'm on it. I love the Nova CEWS is just because of the minus 50% signature and everyone's got increased sensors. Like, so... We've increased everybody's sensors and sight uh, range by 16% um, plus the Nova CEW's bonus for each person. So it's like it's like 25% uh, across the board here for everybody. Ready for orders. Uh, I want you to move. Confirm. Uh, let's drop a nuke on this guy. I copy. <laughs> Whether we hit or not, I don't care. I just want to see the explosion. Oh my god, it's so much fun. This arrow system is going to be just so... And I think it's splash damage, too. Look at the friggin' crater. Wolf found. Should have brought more guys. Alright, see who's easier to hit. Ghost hasn't moved yet, so probably easier. Oh, well, maybe not. Oh, I guess this guy lost his stability. Uh, let's not go too crazy. Let's just leave these two off. Yeah, you can see the way the two ER mediums are just a pain. All right, we hit with both that time. Going down. That hit something good. No, nope. still standing up. No, he went down. I heard him. I heard him drop. God, this guy's got like no, <laughs> no speed or anything. I don't care though. Let's uh, let's remove the ghost if we. Well, let's not go too high. Let's go four. Yeah, better chances to hit. And you know what? Better chances to hit, more damage. Let's just hit him. Enjoying that. Waiting for orders. This guy don't they can't even see us, man. Ten four. Yeah. Attack failed. See, this is more like clan fighting now. I mean I guess it was really before. But I think my lance is loaded out a little better where I don't have to close. Not having that Ultra 20 means I don't need to close. There's just no point in getting close. Other than wanting to see the arrow system go off in somebody's face. 
which we're going to do here in a second. Can I get eyes on Dooch? What do you think? I think we can get eyes on him. I'm only doing this because I want to see his see his face when he takes the arrow system. Oh, I can't even see him. That's a pain in the ass. Got it. You're just teasing me now. They're just like, you don't get a chance to see that. Oh, started a fire. It's cool looking even from here. Oh, that's a direct fire shot. Can we get close enough to see what this guy's face is going to look like when we hit him? Probably not. Firing. Roger. Here it comes. <laughs> Reporting critical hit. It's going down. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Oh, I don't want to be that close. I just thought of something. Problem with being that close and having art artillery like the arrow systems is that these guys are gonna like the arrow system's gonna splash damage me. Confirmed. Don't want that. It's not good. Target eliminated. Now I don't know if this Commander? ass assin is still alive. He is, he's hiding pretty damn good. Alright, let's leave off the shitty medium chances and fire. Ah, oh, nice one hit. Those are big heavy hits. I like it, I like it a lot. That's the back turrets, okay. So let's grind up this raven. Oh, he took a head hit. Oof. Heavy turret, heavy turret chassis. Uh, Wolfhound. Got direct fire on him, so we'll fire with this. Oh. Got past his armor. So the one thing we are missing out of the lance right now is the command console. Um, I removed it from the uh, Timberwolf. Just because I wasn't sure if it was going to give us the same kind of punch that we had before. I'm thinking I'm going to have to put it back in somebody uh, just because I can't see anything. I have no visuals. All right, so that was, we did kill the assassin. I just don't have any ability to, to visually see anybody. Confirm. Now, the other thing is, is that we're supposedly sharing uh, target, like uh, sensor information. So in theory, as long as I got a direct line of sight on somebody, I should be able to hit him. Standing by. Coordinates received. Yeah, see, I mean, I guess. That one's gone. Okay, I'm loving the environmental effects. This is cool. The fire is actually spreading. And it's done well. I was hoping that it wasn't going to be really cheesy, but the fire looks really good. I think they stole it from the building, uh, Thing. I could be wrong. And I don't mean stole. I mean they just borrowed it from there. That's what I would do. Full yeah, we need to get we need to get a better engine in this guy. So I guess the the next little bit of the series is going to be us uh, making the attempt to get enough sea bills to get a proper engine in the Orion and then get the other guys up and running. Because really at this stage in the game when you're running these heavy mechs um, because they can take 
a fair amount of damage um, and it costs a lot it's always nice to have that second lance that you can just run that's just going to generate sea bills for you um, that's my feeling anyway so let's make sure we get uh, the proper stuff in the Orion first and then we'll get the other guys up he's still alive that's impressive Look at the fire. Okay, so we got smoke going on. Now somebody has said that the smoke processing effects were causing um, slowdowns and issues. Um, I'm still on um, patch one hotfix one as that's what they're recommending to use. So I'm just using the recommendations. Yes, um, Commander. Now, should I? I'm not, I can't target these buildings, eh? So one thing they do need to fix is being able to target stuff like this. Why can't I target the buildings? Uh, okay. Still can't target the buildings? Warning. Enemy reinforcements detected. Oh, now I can. What do we got? Shadowhawk. Blackjack. Crab. 200, huh? Uh, let's just wrote this down to 2. 3. Sure. Oh god, shut up. I'm shooting buildings. Good shot, Commander. What have I told you, Darius? Ready for orders. Unless they're attacking me, don't say a goddamn thing. Roger. Got strong opposition, Commander. Taking the shot. Now I'm continuously using the AC. Well, I don't really need to. I just want to see how the ammo situation is going to last. Fresh real estate available. Yeah. How many turns we got? Um. <laughs> Commando. So let's target the crab because he's in the middle. Wow, it's really bad chances to hit. Don't care. Yeah, they all took splash. So the arrow's gonna splash damage, guys. Oh no, man, you got the LK ammo. Don't forget about that. Don't forget about LK, buddy. 200, plenty. The screams of the people. All right, let's get into position for these guys. Waiting for orders. Move order received. Yeah, this guy's only got a hundred. We can leave the ultra off on this one. Yeah, leave the pulse off. Get down to no heat. Stop. No. I'm coming in hot. We have local government upstart units that need to uh, be dealt with here. If you guys wish to stay back there, standing by. On it. How many rounds have we got left in the uh, good old? We got eight rounds left. Cause why not? Commando. Oh yeah. Targets taking a critical hit. Let's go, people. What do you need? 
Sorry, somebody had to say it. All right, let's see how good the Nova CEWS is. And we're outside the fire. Yeah, the fire even... Look at that. It's nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, see if we can take the commando out. Load everything up. Firing. Targeting for now. Good. So remember what our targeting was before? Around 22%. Let's just see what it is now. Yeah, see, he's got line of sight. So here's the thing about the Nova CEWS, right? Because it's like acts like a C3, once we've got line of sight from here, everybody else uses the same targeting info, basically. So now I've got super easy chance to hit these guys. I'm going to go up to the crab. He's in the center. Well, maybe not. Let's just go after this guy. Uh, but you can see he took back damage from the splash damage. So let's fire. Roger that. Yeah, see the crab's still in range. Took splash damage too. Commander? So I wasn't 100% sure how the, how the C3 suites were working. But that uh, you can see there that they're definitely working. Because we had like 22% chance to hit them and they had barely moved. And then as soon as we got eyes on, it was like, what's up? What's up? Turn him up. What's up, Krabby, Krabby, Krabby? Uh, or the Shadowhawk. Crabby, crabby, crabby. Let's get rid of this guy. So, calculating the damage the Alpha Strike from this Orion, it's over 600. Waiting for order. So, the rack's at full out rack firepower. Um, at full shot, we're looking at. Um, let's see. It, that's if the enemy's in the open. We're looking at. Six rounds, 12 rounds, 450, 540 damage, plus three ER mediums at about 100 total uh, is, what did I say, 540, 640 damage, Alpha Strike. Ooh. See ya. Terminated with extreme prejudice. Target down. Okay, Duce, yep. it's going to fire a maneuver because you're standing in like flames here, dude. Um, the warlord. Let's attack this guy. And we're just gonna fire straight out. I can't even see him. It's going down. Scored a critical hit. Oh, I, th I thought it said pilot lethal damage there for a second. I was like, what? How's that possible? Well, the one thing I will say about the Shadowhawk, at least he's going to have a good view of the arrow system coming in. It was only 39 damage. It looked like, anyway. Doesn't matter. Look at this. I have become death. I am the destroyer of worlds. Oh! I took stability damage from that. Nice to know. All right, let's grind, let's grind this guy's bone to make my bread. Aye, aye. So I was concerned that my DPS was going to drop because I can't mount as many weapons, but I think it's going to be the otherwise other way. I mean, of course, this is a three skull against local government. Once we're in against the clans, it'll be a different story. I'll reserve my judgment for then. So I'm recording this episode on the 11th of April, which is a Thursday night. So I'm hoping to post tonight. 
I can't guarantee it. I am pretty tired. So I'm going to try and post. If not, it'll be Friday. Then after that, it's pretty much guaranteed we'll have episodes every night. It's going to be a little lighter. I had 12 jobs at the beginning of the week. I got six left. I managed to rip through most of them. Some of them I'm waiting to have come back from clients that aren't even on my list yet, so it's going to be a while before uh, I'm out of the weeds. So there might be a few nights where I don't post, or I might just go down to one series. Probably most likely what will happen, because um, Falcon Freeboard are up and running. Hang on one second here. Okay. Contract payment increased by 45%. Nice. So as I was saying, because the Falcon Freeborn are up and running, um, I'll try and make sure I get an episode of them up every single night. Um, I can't, like I said, I can't guarantee it. And then if I can get an episode of, um, ooh, like us, if I can get an episode of um, um, Night Witches up as well, I'll try and do that. Okay, I'm just looking for stuff that's going to sell for good sea bills here. So that's not bad. That's an inner sphere exchanger. Don't really care about that. Plus, we still got tons of exchangers. Uh, tracking sensors. I like these things. The plus one accuracy with range weapons. Yes, please. All right, we're going to take that. All right, some more parts. We can sell these parts. Uh, I'm not going to hold on to light mech parts and assassin. I don't need. Um, but it's just stuff for sale. We just, like I said, we really, really need to get that uh, Clan XL engine inside the Orion, and it's going to be 1.5 million. So, and then we got a, like a almost $800,000 a month financial report too. So it's going to take a little while before we can get that in, but we're going to work towards it. All right, I'm not sure why I keep getting connection failure. I'm not sure if the map is up and running yet. I heard it was, but I don't know what's going on with the map. So, um, it, wow. You know what the worst part about this is? The worst part about this 410 um, uh, sea bills is this was self-inflicted. I think this was a self-inflicted <laughs> cost. I think it was splash damage from the arrow system. That is like the worst thing. The best thing in the world and the worst thing in the world. But I got to say, after watching that mission... Um, the fire, the smoke, it's all awesome. I'm loving this new uh, update. Once again, thank you to the uh, um, Rogue Tech crew for coming up with something so brilliant. Um, every time you guys come up with a new uh, update, this just game just keeps getting better and better and better and more and more fun. Uh, it's ridiculous. And I'm just going to throw out a shout out there to get people... If you're downloading the game and you see that little thing that says, hey, donate, even if you got one or two bucks, just donate them a couple bucks. Because if everybody does it, you know, it's just an, just an appreciation to say thank you for all the great work they've done. Uh, they've definitely extended the life and longevity of Battletech in, in itself. Um, so, yeah, kudos to them. All right, so after that being said, I uh, just want to, <laughs> before I sign off today, I just want to relate this one tale because it's still bothering me. So I've been an editor, like a video editor for, let's see, I started in 93. So 26 years now, and I've been at the same company for 22 of those 26 years. And I've had a lot of weird shit happen, and a lot of clients say, clients say certain things and stuff. But I got to say, I did this edit, and I won't say what company it's for, but I did an edit, a TV commercial, and, you know... After, 20, like after 26 years, I know a little bit about how an edit should be, right? I've done this, like, for a long time. I know what it should look like, right? To be told I need to change an edit because a client's 12-year-old daughter says something should be a certain way. And, he's, and he was like, well, I can't disagree with her. And I'm like, oh, I can. After 26 years, I can most certainly disagree with her. But if that's what you want to do to your TV spot... Sure, whatever. So anyways, I had to change my edit. A 26-year experienced editor had to change his edit because of somebody's 12-year-old daughter. <sighs> anyway, so that's how my week has been going. Um, you know, I don't know. I can be, st I can be stubborn and, and, you know, 
bullheaded sometimes. But when somebody else is right, even though I might disagree at the, at the beginning, I'll sit and think about it, and then I'll come back and go, you know what, okay, you're right. You know, I, my nature is to disagree right off the, at the bat because, I, you know, being on a spectrum, I don't like change. I don't like things to change and shift if my brain is working a certain way. But I do think about them, and I will change my mind. I have no problem changing my mind if I'm proven to be wrong, right? Or if I can something I can test and test and see, yes, I, in fact, I am wrong. No problem with that. What I do have a problem with is with people who can't do that and refuse to do that because their 12-year-old daughter says so. Anyway, I'm not saying the kid doesn't know their like doesn't know anything because who know what maybe they're a child prodigy, but but what they <laughs> were saying to change was the most ridiculous. Anyway, because of client confidentiality, I can't say anything. So, but there you go. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna leave the episode here, guys. If you'd like to drop a like, once again, I apologize uh, for not having an episode up last night. Uh, that was April 10th. This is the 11th. I'm hopefully gonna have this one up tonight. I don't know. If it's, it'll either be late tonight or first thing tomorrow. Uh, and then it hopefully we'll be able to, starting tomorrow night again, get right back into recording and keep everything going. All right. So thanks for hanging in there. And until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>